Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility where we treat people and not necessarily diagnoses. Uh, my name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist here, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... I am Ashley Barone, an art therapy intern from Seton Hill University. And on my right... My name is Pamela Peel, and I'm a licensed massage therapist. So today we're delighted that uh, Pam is able to join us, and you recently uh, joined the uh, Seclair family, did you Yes, know? I did, two weeks ago today. So before we get into that, tell us a little bit about uh, how you got into massage therapy and why it, uh, why it interests you. Years ago, 13, I worked at the Harmerville Rehab for 13 years. I started out as a nurse's aide, then there was a position open in physical therapy, and I had training there for physical therapy aid, and that's what got me started on helping people. And like I said, I was 13 years, then I bounced to hospitals, facilities for physical therapy. Then I get this bright idea, hey, why not go into being a massage therapist? So that's what I did, and um, it'll be 10 years that I've been um, doing this, and I really enjoy it, and I like having pe helping people. You like helping people. Well, yes. one, of the, one of the first things that I heard you said was that you like helping people. And right. So, so you went from nurse's aide to mm -hmm. uh, physical therapist okay. assistant yeah. to, to moving on because you enjoyed interacting with other folks. Yes, I did. So, Ashley, in the counseling, the counseling field is often referred to as a helping profession, is it not? Yes. Where, what do you make of that? What, what, what would that mean to you? Um, I think in counseling, um, we're kind of using... I don't know, our abilities to help serve, I guess, the greater human experience. You bet. You bet. So what we try to do is we pr try to promote health and wellness. Do we not, Pam? Yes, we do. So there's many different ways to do that, is there not? Yes, there there's is. All, there's all type of enhancements, not just... When somebody thinks of medicine, they think of a pill, do they not? Yes, you're or, right. Or going to a doctor. Mm -hmm. However, here at Seclair, what we often try to do is offer a whole experience, uh, uh, offer enhancements to a, to a person's... Uh, to a person's life enhancements to make uh, their health and wellness just just a little bit better okay and anything that we can add to that would be great so the medical profession is isn't all of it's all helping professions is it not yes it is so tell us a little bit about the training you received as a massage therapist uh, I went for nine months I didn't get the associate but nine months was good for me um, at um, Monroeville Career Training Academy and I made all A's. Can you believe it? And I can't. And I really enjoyed it, and I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Learned a lot. So. Well, if I would good. have been your parents, I'd have taken you to take it a pizza. <laughs> so, uh, what do you what do you find uh, intriguing? What what do you find satisfying about the massage? I find that um, everybody needs a massage. It's good for your body. It's healthy. It stimulates. It just. It's really good, and I like helping people. Like they'll say, oh, "This feels wonderful," and I says, "Well, it's good, but if you have any problems, you have to continue come back like every other week or something, and we can get you through this problem." And 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 they actually do show up. Hmm. So Ashley, I understand that you were a recipient of uh, Pam's magic hands and fingers. <laughs> yes, I was. It was a really great experience. I felt so much more relaxed and. I don't know, I guess whenever she was doing it, she said she felt some tension, and I didn't really notice it prior, so after she did it, I could just feel so much more loose. And... So in our work together, we deal with people uh, with, with anxiety symptoms mm -hmm. and depression systems. So when, when a person comes in and they talk about the anxiety symptoms and what the anxiety they're experiencing, sometimes that manifests itself in the body, does it not? A lot of the times, yes. Yeah, could you? What, what are some of the places where anxiety uh, manifests itself that shows itself in the body? Um, I think Pam mentioned my neck, and she said that was really most everyone that comes here has mm -hmm. a lot of tension in their neck. Mm -hmm. So neck, shoulders, back. I feel kind of you could probably find tension throughout your entire body if you have a great deal of anxiety. And what you were saying was you didn't realize it. Yes. Which means it is probably a condition that is that is ongoing and enduring that gets so we don't even notice it after a while. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Do you find that, Pam? Do you find that people when you work on people say, "Oh my gosh, your your muscles are"? Tense. Yes, and they say, "I really 
I never realized that. And then I'll say, oh, there's a trigger point. And then I'll say, well, what's a trigger point? And you have to explain that. And they just don't know. Like I even get massages and I, I didn't know I had uh, tight muscles. So could you tell us what a, share with us what a trigger point trigger is? Trigger point is when uh, the gathering of the muscles just gather together. It has to do a lot with your blood flow. If it doesn't circulate and it just gets there and it does not move. And they're very hard to get out. I got one out one time, mm. and I was happy. It was just like somebody popping popcorn. That's mm -hmm. how it popped. You have to keep going for this to help. It's a it's a continuing process. Right. It's continuing. So what do you recommend to a person with uh, anxiety? They come in and their shoulders are so stiff that it's, it's actually causing them headaches and it's causing them some distress in their life. First of all, I said just relax. It's, it's this good it's good therapy. I, I um, think you could use one um, all the time, but just relax and enjoy it because your body's telling you something. It needs help and to relax. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing for massages. Great, great. So, uh, where tell us uh, tell us about your journey here. Tell us uh, how you arrived at Seclair. Well, I. Um, off and on, through the years, I've worked in hospitals, I've worked in um, mostly chiropractor's office, and I um, thought, you know, I know somebody that's working there right now, and she enjoys it, and I thought, why not? So I um, had somebody um, speak up for me, and here I am, and I just, it's, I love it here. Well, so, so tell us about this Claire experience when you, when you walked into here. Tell us what you found. Tell us oh, your impressions. It was what not I expected. There, it's just completely, completely mm -hmm. different. I, so I talk to no excuse idea. me. Talk to me about your expectations prior to coming to Seclair when you realized well, I'm going to be working in a psychiatric facility. I was sort of scared first, but I used to work in a psychiatric up by uh, Pittsburgh Airport long ago, and I enjoyed it. But it wasn't what I thought it was. It was full of life and happiness here it's great it's full of life and happiness yes. here so how do you how do you find uh, the clientele how do you find the folks that you uh, work with and i understand that during the month of december you've been uh, kind enough to give a brief uh, introduction and a brief massage right i find us. that they're very nice um, down there there's like um, no tension no problem here among each other we all it's all one big family absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely how about with the with the with the patients that come in to oh. see you at your pleasure stations right in the right in the lobby yes um they're great they really enjoy their chair massage they didn't expect that the, it would be that great a massage because none of them really ever had any mm -hmm. now some people don't like massages they don't like to be touched and some do mm -hmm. so if you like it i recommend it okay Okay, great. So, uh, Ashley, so what we have to offer here is we have to offer more than medicine and talk therapy, do we not? Mm -hmm. uh, you're an art therapist, and that's a, that's a great component. That's a great addition. That's a great complement to all, all different types of therapy and what we do. Mm -hmm. And so what we try, then what we have here is in-house that we don't have to, when we recommend a massage, we don't have to say, well, you know, you can go 15 miles down the road. Or if you want to, uh, if you're interested in arts, if you want to get involved in something to uh, some expressive type of behavior uh, and change, uh, we have a we have an art therapist that can do that with you, who's not only also skilled in art. Naturally, that's that's a big gun in her wallet, but it's uh, what you have is many other skills also. Since I work with you, so Pam, it's uh, delightful that you were able to join us today. Uh, I really. And I'm looking forward to getting one myself. Absolutely, <laughs> Why not? because I have not availed myself yet. <laughs> so until then, we'll join you again. Uh, we wish you nothing but the best. We wish you peace and happiness during this time of year. Uh, please do a kindness of another. Let science shine some light into the darkness. Until then, I'm Jim Ellermeyer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.